In this tutorial, I will be showing you how I would tackle modeling diamond patterns in a fast and efficient way. Now, for a majority of the tutorial, I will be using marking menus when navigating Maya, because it is much faster than navigating around its main interface. Aside from using personal hotkeys, you will become a much faster artist using the hotbar and marking menus, because it serves you having to go through less distances and less clicks. This is how I personally work, and I think it would be of great benefit to you if you incorporate it early on into your own 3D modeling practice. And with all the introductions out of the way, let's begin! The first thing I'm going to do is create a poly cylinder, and setting the subdivision axis to 30 and the subdivision height to 10. Next, I'll be deleting the faces on the tops and bottoms of my poly cylinder. Now I'll be switching over to vertex mode and selecting all the vertices in my poly cylinder. Chamfer vertices and set the width to 0.5. While still on vertex mode, I'm going to select all my vertices and merge them with a distance threshold of 0.001. Switching over to face mode, I'm going to select all my faces and run poke face. Now is a good time for me to run symmetry on object Y. I'm going to be deleting some extra geometry that I don't want, beginning from these four. The ones on the bottom are going to be automatically selected because they have symmetry on. I run similar selection, which will now then select the rest of geometry that I intend to delete. And just hitting delete on my keyboard. I'll now be switching to edge mode and selecting the edge loop that's on the very top of my cylinder. Using the scale tool, I'll be pulling down on the Y axis to straighten out the edge loop. I'll now be switching over to vertex mode and selecting the vertices that are inside these diamond-like shapes in this exact pattern. I'll now be running similar selection again with those selected, I'm going to go ahead and run Transform Components tool, ensuring that the random settings are at zero. I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue arrow, but just to be more precise, I'm going to click on my channel box and change Local Translate Z to 0 0.05. Switching over to Edge Mode, I'm going to select an edge loop on the very top of my cylinder and extrude. With my edge loop still selected, I'm going to do another extrude. I'm going to go ahead and create that shape on the very top. Do one last extrude and collapse the edges. I'm going to select the edges of the caps of my poly cylinder. And hit connect components. I'm going to go ahead and scale down this edge loop by selecting one of the edges on the outside caps I'm going to go ahead and insert edge loop tool I have multiple edge loops on and number of edge loops are two I'll now be prepping my geometry so that it's subdividable by selecting all the edges that I want to be beveled while in object mode, I'm going to set the soften and harden edges to an angle of 25. To select the edges, I'll be using a constraint. I will then set the settings to next selection, switching over to edge mode. This will then open up the properties menu, and I will set the smoothing to hard. And select all the edges in my mesh again making sure that I click close and restart on this window. I'm going to go ahead and select some of the additional edges that I want to include. As I have everything that I needed selected, I'm now going to run Bevel Edge. I'm going to set the fraction to 0.8. I'm just going to go ahead and close down these additional windows. 
finished with my bevel, I'm going to go ahead and run soften edges. And lastly, so that I'm better able to see the details on my model, I'm going to go ahead and assign a blend shader to it. And there you have it, a time efficient way of modeling diamond patterns in Maya. That is all from me, I hope you learned something new.